What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to stream with Restream.io on a multiple platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, using OBS, because of course you need a streaming software in order to go live, to add scenes to your live stream and add pop-ups when somebody follows, when somebody donates, when somebody subscribes. You actually need a program for that, which is going to be free as well. You guys are probably familiar with OBS. I'm going to show you guys how to set that all up, of course, right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are on restream.io forward slash channel, actually your dashboard. The last video, I showed you guys how to, of course, connect your Facebook, your YouTube, and your Twitch channel to your restream channel. But I also showed you guys how to stream on these websites at the same time, of course, when you go live, just using your webcam. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use an external software such as OBS. All right, guys, so on the right, we have streaming software, RTMP, use advanced software like OBS, Zoom, etc. So we're gonna click on on the RTMP settings. Okay, so right here we basically have the stream key and this is very, very important that you don't share this with anybody else because if somebody is gonna just boot up OBS, they're gonna fill in this stream key in their path for going live. They can go live on your channel without you even knowing it because they just got a hold of that key. At all costs, avoid people getting into your account or you know sending a screenshot from your stream key. Of course, right now it is dotted or blacked out, but of course, if you wanna copy this one into OBS, the program itself. Outside of Restream, you want to make sure you just want to click on that. And then it's going to prompt you stream key copy to clipboard. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our OBS instance, which is right here. So then we're going to go to file at the top. We're going to hit settings. And then where it says stream right here, we're going to pick our uh, service. But in 90% of the cases, you would also just pick, for example, Facebook Live, YouTube, or Twitch. But if you're going to click on these, you're going to only go live on that specific platform. So right here, you want it's very important that you click on Restream. Stream.io. So then it will also give you the option to connect your account. I would actually recommend that. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the stream key. So then I'm going to delete this one right here and then I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK. So now, of course, if we're going to hit, for example, start recording right here at the bottom right corner, we're going to go live on all the channels. And that's basically how simple it is. All right, guys. So now that we filled everything in into OBS, it is actually a matter of getting the layouts right, because in the last video, I showed you guys how to go live with just your webcam. And if I'm going to be honest with you, you're kind of limited if you're going to use only your camera, because you can also use your full screen camera in OBS instead of the regular option in Restream. But what's really cool is that Restream actually provide you a lot of things if you go to the live studio on the website and you will hit on graphics on the right. It's very nice that you can also add in your logo. You can just upload a PNG version of that. You also have like multiple overlays. We also have video videos, for example, a countdown or an intro that you made, for example, in Vegas Pro with like, you know, this entire background, like a special clock that's ticking with some music under it. You can just export that out and just upload it right here. We also have backgrounds if you want to. But of course, it actually depends on what you want to stream. Do you want to keep it basic and do a full screen Q&A? You can perfectly use the dashboard on Restream itself. But if you want to go ahead and, you know, do this full length stream with an intro, with a green screen and everything, and you're talking over it, you're making an intro, then you want to have like this crazy transition into to your full screen, you know, gameplay with your face cam in the like in the corner with like all kinds of overlays and you want to also switch to an outro at the end, then I would also recommend just use the OBS function or the program itself. And of course, how to do that, how to set up the, you know, the, the all the layouts and all that, we're going to say that for a next video. But this is basically how you link your OBS to the Restream channel. And now, of course, if you go to back to the dashboard, you'll see a list of all the channels you will go live to when you hit, for example, start streaming on the very right corner. So that is basically how to set that up and how to stream externally with another program. And of course, in the next video, which is the last one of this mini three part series, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create these overlays and, how, and you know, all the donations and how to go live. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And that is basically how simple it is. All right, guys. So now you guys know how to set up OBS for streaming with Restream.io on multiple platforms. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below and also click on the first link down in the description that will bring you to the website so you can learn more. I want to thank Restream for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys obviously in the next one.